Space, vast, mysterious, and beautiful. For many, it's a symbol of exploration and the potential of the human spirit. But there are corners of the universe that, if you were to visit, you might wish you never did. These locations are enough to give anyone a strong dose of astrophobia, a fear of space. Let's dive into some of these awe-inspiringly terrifying regions of space. The Buddha's void, often referred to as the Great Nothing, is one of the largest known voids in the universe. A void, in cosmic terms, is a region of space that has a significantly lower density of galaxies than the surrounding areas. The Buddha's void stands out particularly because of its mind-boggling emptiness. This vast expanse spans approximately 330 million light-years across, and while space is generally thought of as being relatively empty, the size and extent of this void are far beyond the norm. To give a perspective on its enormity, our entire Milky Way galaxy is only about 100,000 light-years in diameter. If you were to travel across the Buddha's void at the speed of light, it would take you 330 million years to cross from one side to the other. But what makes the Buddha's void even more mystifying is its stark emptiness. While you might expect thousands of galaxies to be present within such a vast space, researchers have found only about 60. That's shockingly sparse. The discovery of the Buddha's void has challenged our understanding of the universe's large-scale structure. Why? because it doesn't easily fit into the cosmic web theory, where galaxies are connected by filaments and nodes of dark matter, creating a web-like structure. So how did such a vast void form? There are several theories. One idea is that smaller voids merged over time, resulting in this supersized void. Another theory posits that this region of space experienced a much lower rate of galaxy formation due to variations in the density of matter after the Big Bang. Regardless of the cause, floating within the boot's void would feel like an endless journey through an almost infinite abyss of nothingness. Hot Jupiters are among the most intriguing and unexpected discoveries in the field of exoplanet research. These gas giants bear a resemblance to our own Jupiter in terms of mass and composition, but with one key difference, their blisteringly close proximity to their host stars. Imagine a planet several times the mass of Jupiter, but instead of taking 12 Earth years to complete an orbit around its star, it does so in just a few days. The close orbit of these gas giants means they're exposed to intense heat from their stars, leading them to have daytime temperatures that can soar up to 2,000 degrees Celsius. This is hotter than some stars. This close relationship with their host star also means that hot Jupiters are tidally locked. One side perpetually faces the star, basking in its intense heat while the other side remains in eternal darkness. This creates a dramatic temperature difference between the two sides. Powerful winds, faster than any on Earth, whip around these planets, transferring heat from the day side to the night side. These winds create storms of unimaginable ferocity, with metallic clouds and rains of molten glass. The existence of hot Jupiters was a surprise to astronomers when first discovered. Traditionally, it was believed that massive gas giants could only form far from their stars, where cold temperatures allowed icy materials to clump together. How did hot Jupiters end up so close to their stars? One leading theory is that they formed farther out and migrated inward over time due to gravitational interactions. Exploring a hot Jupiter would be a lesson in extremes, from its scorching temperatures to its roaring winds and searing storms. A visit to such a planet would expose you to a world where the rules of earthly understanding are dramatically challenged. Magnetars are some of the universe's most extreme objects. Essentially, they're a type of neutron star, remnants left after massive stars explode in spectacular supernova. While all neutron stars are incredibly dense and possess strong magnetic fields, magnetars crank up the intensity to levels almost difficult to fathom. A teaspoon of material from a magnetar would weigh about a billion tons on Earth. Picture the entire human population condensed into a sugar cube, and you're starting to get a grasp of the staggering density of these objects. But what truly sets magnetars apart from other neutron stars is their magnetic field. These fields are up to a thousand times stronger than typical neutron stars. To understand this kind of magnetic might, consider this. If a magnetar were located about halfway to the moon, it could strip the information from all the credit cards on Earth. Magnetars are also dynamic and occasionally unpredictable, 
They can produce what's known as star quakes due to the tension between their immense gravity and their magnetic fields. These star quakes can release gamma ray flares, which are millions of times more energetic than the most powerful solar flares from our sun. Thankfully, no magnetar is close enough to us to pose a threat. However, a gamma ray burst directed at Earth from even thousands of light years away could cause significant harm to our atmosphere and possibly even lead to mass extinctions. Black holes, regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light, are enigmatic enough on their own. But sometimes, in the vast cosmic dance of the universe, two black holes find themselves in a close gravitational embrace, leading to the awe-inspiring phenomena of binary black holes. In this cosmic tango, two black holes orbit each other, drawn together by their immense gravitational pull. As they spiral closer and closer, they begin to affect the very fabric of space-time itself. This effect is so intense that it sends ripples across the universe, much like how twirling a finger in water would create ripples across the surface. These ripples, known as gravitational waves, were first theorized by Albert Einstein over a century ago and were finally detected in 2015, marking a groundbreaking moment in our understanding of the universe. The eventual merger of these binary black holes is an event of unimaginable power. When they finally collide and become one, the resulting black hole has slightly less mass than the sum of the two original black holes. The missing mass is converted into energy and radiated out as gravitational waves. In some cases, this energy output can be equivalent to the combined light of all the stars in our galaxy. Observing these mergers offers a rare peek into the dynamic and violent relationships that play out in the universe's dark corners. The dance of binary black holes is a testament to the unimaginable forces and phenomena that shape our cosmos. Rogue planets are the true wanderers of our universe, detached and free, traversing the vast cosmic expanses without the gravitational tether of a star. But what makes these celestial bodies so fascinating is the story of their origin and the mysteries they hold. A typical image of a planetary system involves planets gracefully orbiting a star, bound in a celestial dance that spans billions of years. But sometimes this dance can get a bit chaotic. Gravitational interactions, especially in young and turbulent solar systems, can give a planet enough of a nudge to eject it from its home system. This ejection sets the planet on a lone journey through the interstellar void. Size-wise, rogue planets can range from being as massive as Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, to being as small as Earth or even smaller. And while they lack the warmth of a star, they aren't necessarily devoid of energy or activity. Some rogue planets might still radiate heat from their formation. This residual warmth, combined with potential internal heat-generating processes, means these planets could harbor subsurface oceans. There's also a possibility that life, at least in some primitive form, might exist on these worlds. If a planet was ejected from its system with a thick atmosphere and enough internal heat, it could provide the necessary conditions for life to persist. Rogue planets, given their solitary nature, are difficult to detect. They don't emit their own light, and without a nearby star, they don't reflect light either. However, astronomers have employed ingenious methods, like gravitational microlensing, where the gravity of the rogue planet acts like a lens, amplifying the light of distant stars. Galaxies are colossal collections of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter. They're the fundamental building blocks of the universe's large-scale structure. But galaxies aren't static. They're dynamic entities, constantly in motion. And occasionally, their paths cross in a dramatic event known as a galactic collision. Picture this. Two galaxies, each comprising billions of stars, drawing closer and closer due to their mutual gravitational attraction. As they approach, their shapes start to deform creating long tidal tails of stars and gas stretched out by the immense gravitational forces at play. Over millions of years, these galaxies can merge into a single, larger entity, often resulting in a new galaxy with a unique shape and character. But here's a fascinating fact. Despite the sheer number of stars in these galaxies, the likelihood of two stars directly colliding during a galaxy merger is minuscule. This is because, relative to their sizes, Stars are very far apart from each other. Instead of direct stellar collisions, the real action happens in the interstellar medium, the gas and dust between stars. 
As galaxies collide, these gases can compress, leading to a burst of new star formation, lighting up the merging galaxies like cosmic fireworks. Our own Milky Way is no stranger to this process. In its history, it's believed to have consumed several smaller galaxies, and as mentioned earlier, in the far future, were set to collide with the Andromeda Galaxy. While this may sound alarming, remember that this event is billions of years away, and when it does happen, it will be a gradual process unfolding over millions of years, not a sudden catastrophe. The resulting merged galaxy, sometimes whimsically referred to as Milkamida, will be a new chapter in the ongoing saga of cosmic evolution. In the tapestry of the universe, there are threads that we can see and touch, like stars, planets, and galaxies. And then there are threads that remain invisible and intangible, yet they weave the cosmos together in ways we're just beginning to understand. One such thread is dark matter. Dark matter is aptly named, primarily because it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light. Unlike the stars that twinkle in the night or the planets that reflect sunlight, dark matter remains invisible. So how do we even know it exists if we can't see it? The answer lies in its gravitational influence on the things we can observe. When astronomers look at galaxies, they've noticed something intriguing. The stars at the edges of galaxies move faster than they should if only the gravity of the galaxy's visible matter were at play. This suggests there's something else, something unseen, exerting its gravitational pull. Through such observations and calculations, scientists deduced the presence of dark matter. In fact, it's believed that around 85% of the matter in the universe is dark matter. But here's the twist. Despite decades of searching and countless experiments, we've yet to directly detect a dark matter particle. Various theories suggest what it might be made of. One leading candidate is the weakly interacting massive particle. These hypothetical particles are believed to interact through weak force, one of the four fundamental forces of nature, but not with electromagnetic force, which means they wouldn't emit or absorb light. The quest to understand dark matter isn't just academic curiosity, it's crucial to our comprehension of the universe. This mysterious substance plays a pivotal role in galaxy formation, cosmic structure, and the overall fate of the cosmos. When it comes to the scale of celestial objects, planets in our own solar system provide a sense of familiarity. Jupiter, our neighborhood's heavyweight champion, feels large. But venture beyond our solar system, and you'll find planets that make Jupiter look modest. Enter the world of Super Jupiters. These are exoplanets, planets located outside our solar system that boast masses exceeding that of Jupiter. Some of them, like HD 100546b, hold up to 13 times Jupiter's mass. The sheer size and volume of these planets are difficult to comprehend. With vast atmospheres primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, their swirling cloud bands and tumultuous weather systems might span wider than entire continents here on Earth. Yet size isn't the only fascinating aspect of these colossal worlds. A subset of these super-Jupiters, known as rogue planets, defies conventional understanding of how planets should behave. They do not orbit any star. Instead, these rogue planets wander the vastness of space alone, without a sun to illuminate their skies. Imagine a planet, massive beyond comprehension, drifting in the inky blackness of space devoid of sunlight. Their existence challenges our traditional notions of planet formation and asks more questions about the diverse ways celestial bodies can come into existence. Moreover, the gravity on these super-Jupiters would be intense, many times stronger than what we experience on Earth. This immense gravitational pull can lead to intriguing and bizarre phenomena. For instance, these planets might have layers of metallic hydrogen deep within their interiors, hydrogen compressed under such extreme pressures that it behaves like a metal. In the hunt for extraterrestrial life, these supermassive planets also present new possibilities. While their gas-dominated nature might make them inhospitable for life as we know it, their potential moons, subjected to the planet's strong gravitational forces, could harbor subsurface oceans kept warm by tidal forces. Such environments could potentially be cradles for life, presenting a scenario where the most massive planets, even in their hostility, could indirectly nurture pockets of life. All in all, Super Jupiters embody the wonder and diversity of our universe, challenging our understanding and stretching the limits of what we once thought possible in planetary formation and behavior. 
In the vast cosmic theater, stars take center stage, illuminating the universe with their brilliance. But among these luminous bodies, a particular group stands out, not just for their light, but their sheer size, the supermassive stars. While our sun is often considered a standard reference for stellar sizes, it pales in comparison to the behemoths known as supermassive or hypergiant stars. These are not just larger, they are incomprehensibly vast. Stars like Ey Scuti, one of the largest known, extend for more than 1,700 times the sun's radius. If placed in the center of our solar system, it would engulf the orbits of planets up to and beyond Jupiter. The lives of these hypergiants are turbulent and short-lived, at least in astronomical terms. Born from massive clouds of gas and dust, these stars burn bright but burn out quickly. Their enormous sizes mean they have an abundance of fuel, but they consume it voraciously. Within a few million years, a mere blink in cosmic time. These stars exhaust their fuel and meet dramatic ends. And it's not just their size that's impressive. The internal processes of these stars are equally fascinating. Due to their vast masses, the pressures and temperatures in their cores reach levels unimaginable in smaller stars. These extreme conditions facilitate the fusion of heavier elements, turning hydrogen into helium and progressing through the periodic table, creating elements like oxygen, carbon and even metals like iron. Yet this grandeur comes at a price. The more massive the star, the more unstable its life. Many supermassive stars undergo periods of intense pulsations, causing them to eject vast amounts of material into space. This constant tumult makes their surfaces boil and roil with massive convective cells, each one many times larger than our entire sun. Their demise is as spectacular as their lives. Once the fuel in their cores is expended, they can't support their immense gravitational pull, leading to a spectacular supernova explosion. These explosions scatter the heavier elements formed within the star out into space, seeding the universe with the building blocks for new stars, planets, and even life. In the end, the legacy of supermassive stars is twofold. They illuminate the cosmos with their unparalleled brilliance, and in their death throes they give back, ensuring the cycle of stellar birth and rebirth continues. In their enormity and intensity, they embody the dynamic, ever-evolving nature of the universe. Imagine a region in space where gravity pulls so much that even light can't escape its grasp. That's the essence of a black hole. But beyond the standard black holes, there are entities so massive and awe-inspiring that they defy comprehension. The supermassive black holes. These cosmic giants are often found at the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Unlike stellar black holes, which form from the remnants of massive stars, supermassive black holes contain millions to billions of times the mass of our Sun. Their origins are still a subject of debate among astronomers. Some theorize they form from the accretion of masses over eons, while others suggest they might originate from the collapse of immense gas clouds early in the universe's history. The gravitational influence of supermassive black holes is so powerful that they can dictate the dynamics of their host galaxies. Around them swirl accretion disks, vast rings of gas, dust and other cosmic debris pulled in by the black hole's immense gravitational force. As this material spirals closer to the event horizon, the point of no return, it heats up and emits intense radiation, often observable as quasars, some of the brightest objects in the universe. This intense gravitational pull also influences the paths of stars orbiting near them. Observations of stars at the center of our Milky Way have provided indirect evidence of the presence of a supermassive black hole named Sagittarius A asterisk. These stars whip around at such high velocities that only the presence of a massive, dense object like a supermassive black hole could cause such behavior. Yet for all their might and influence, supermassive black holes remain enigmatic. Their event horizons are shrouded in mystery beyond which our current understanding of physics breaks down. Within this boundary, all known laws of nature become unpredictable. It's a realm where our current understanding of space and time no longer applies, a true frontier of human knowledge. One of the most groundbreaking discoveries related to these entities was the capturing of the first ever image of a black hole silhouette by the Event Horizon Telescope in 2019. This image, a glowing ring surrounding a dark central region, was a visualization of the supermassive black hole at the heart of the galaxy M87, 
located 55 million light years from Earth. The study of supermassive black holes is more than just a quest to understand these mysterious entities. It's a journey to the very edges of our understanding, a probe into the extremes of the universe, and a testament to the insatiable human curiosity about the cosmos. Deep within the vast expanse of the universe lie remnants and echoes of its very beginnings. These ancient signals offer tantalizing glimpses into the earliest moments after the Big Bang allowing us to piece together the cosmic puzzle of our universe's infancy. When we talk about the universe's ancient echoes, the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation stands out prominently. Detected for the first time in 1965, the CMB is a faint glow that fills every corner of the cosmos. Imagine it as the afterglow of the universe's explosive birth, a snapshot of what the universe looked like when it was only 380,000 years old. At this time, the universe was a hot soup of particles, and as it expanded, it cooled down, allowing protons and electrons to combine and form neutral hydrogen atoms. The photons that had been scattered by these free particles could now travel freely through the universe. These very photons are what we detect as the CMB today. The CMB provides a treasure trove of information, tiny fluctuations or ripples in this radiation, which represent minute differences in temperatures, offer insights into the initial conditions of the universe and the seeds for the formation of galaxies and large-scale structures. These temperature variations are like footprints, indicating regions of varying densities in the early universe. Delving deeper into the ancient cosmos, we find relics like Population the Three Stars. While no direct observation of these first-generation stars has been made, they are believed to have formed a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Composed almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, these behemoths were much larger and hotter than stars today, living fast and dying young in spectacular supernovae explosions. The debris from these explosions went on to seed subsequent generations of stars with heavier elements, setting the stage for the complex cosmic dance that led to galaxies, planets and eventually life. In our quest to understand the universe's origins, we also study the distribution of galaxies, clusters and cosmic voids. By mapping these vast structures, scientists can trace back the gravitational forces at play in the early universe, shedding light on the mysterious dark matter that binds these cosmic entities together. As our instruments become more advanced and our observations more precise, we edge ever closer to unraveling the secrets of the universe's early days. Each discovery, from the faintest radiation to the most distant celestial object, adds another piece to the intricate tapestry of our cosmic history, reinforcing our connection to the ancient universe and our place within its vastness. In the realm of cosmic phenomena, gravitational waves have emerged as an intriguing subject of study. These ripples in space-time, akin to the ripples created when a stone is thrown into a pond, have revolutionized our understanding of some of the universe's most violent and enigmatic events. Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of gravitational waves in 1915 as a part of his groundbreaking theory of general relativity. Simply put, when massive celestial objects like black holes or neutron stars accelerate or collide, they create waves that propagate at the speed of light through the very fabric of space-time itself. However, due to their incredibly faint nature, it took a century after Einstein's prediction for us to detect them directly. In 2015, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, made a monumental breakthrough. They observed gravitational waves emanating from the collision of two black holes, approximately 1.3 billion light-years away, this detection was not just a testament to human engineering and perseverance, but also opened a completely new window to observe the universe. Instead of just using light, as with telescopes, we now had the capability to listen to the universe's vibrations. With gravitational wave detection, we've gained a powerful tool to study events that were previously hidden from our view. For instance, the merging of neutron stars, which was detected in 2017, not only produced gravitational waves, but also emitted light, radio, and gamma rays. By analyzing both gravitational waves and electromagnetic radiation, scientists gathered invaluable information about these stellar smash-ups, the kind of metals produced in the collision, and more insights into the universe's expansion rate. Further, gravitational waves hold the potential to let us peer even deeper into the universe's history. 
there's a hope, albeit a challenging one, to detect waves from supermassive black hole mergers or even echoes from the Big Bang itself. As technology advances and new observatories join the hunt, the dawn of multi-messenger astronomy where we combine different signals from space will undoubtedly lead to more groundbreaking revelations about the cosmos.